Hi, this is Tim Murphy, and we're at 6029 Kellogg Avenue in Edina. All right, so we're on Kellogg Avenue, and this is a really vibrant up and coming area. There's a lot of young families coming in, um, and the reason why is we have Pamela Park over here. As you can see, we got uh, new construction going on, some teardowns here. Uh, there's a brand new construction over there. There's a third one right here. And then there's actually a house that just got finished uh, just down the way. So there's a lot of new construction going on in this area. It's amazing. The uh, younger families, you can definitely see the turnover going on. Um, and you can see the project that we're gonna have over here at 6029 Kellogg Avenue. Um, we actually purchased this property from a wonderful lady by the name of Lois and she had been living here for 40 years. It might even be over 40 years. So this is your typical one and a half story 1950 built home. And so back in that day this is the typical house that you would see and I want to bring you through here and experience it. All right, so we're in the living room, and this is where I actually had the fortunate opportunity to meet Lois. Um, she, you can picture her couch right here. Right here, it sat for probably 30, 40 years, and she was sitting right here on the couch when I walked in, and it was an amazing moment for me because, you know, when you get a chance to meet a wonderful lady like that, and as I walked in, she just looked at me and got up off the couch and gave me a big hug, and that was, that was awesome for me because that's what it's really all about. It's not just about, um, you know, building houses. It's about meeting people and building really great relationships. And uh, I think in that instance for me, she had touched me and, and this house is important to me. And that's part of the reason why we're doing this today. Now, as you come into the kitchen, can you imagine this is your kitchen table right here? We got a cell phone. In the 1950s, you had a chalkboard. When Lois walked in this kitchen, I can just imagine her just being ecstatic. And what's gonna be great is that, you know, the next family to come into the house that we're building, when we build their kitchen, they're gonna feel the same way. And it's just amazing what happens over 65 years. Talk about efficient, the kitchen, and now right around the corner you have your bathroom, and then you have two bedrooms. So there wasn't a, a waste of space. This one and a half story is like the two story nowadays. Um, and that's exactly the house that we're gonna build. We're gonna be building a two story instead of a one and a half story. So just take a look around you. Look at this. Look at this bat. Isn't that cool? That's probably her son's bat. There's probably a lot of people that are watching this video right now, they don't even know what a record player is. Cause you know what? I've never even had a record. My first CD was Led Zeppelin. The master bedroom in the new home is gonna be, you know, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be a ton bigger as far as actual square footage, but it's gonna have, you know, the ceilings are gonna be higher because these ceilings are a little bit lower. Um, you know, you're gonna have a bigger closet and then it's gonna have a really nice bathroom. All right, so let's go down to the basement. I wanna show you a couple things. All right, so what you're gonna see is a lot of stuff. And one of the things that's really important to us is to take care of the people that we buy these homes from. Um, you know, when you've lived in a house for 40 years and you've raised your family in a home like this for 40 years, um, Lois was actually by herself when she was living here and she ended up moving into an assisted living home. And you can see there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of memories and there's just a lot of stuff. And everybody has a lot of stuff when they move. Um, so one of the things we really take a lot of pride in is trying to make that transition smooth for anybody that we buy a house from. And she was so thankful for that because it just is overwhelming to get rid of all this stuff.
All right, so we came through the front, and we're coming out the back. You know what, I thank you very much for following the story. Uh, hopefully you learned a little bit about the house that's here today. And along the way, you're gonna learn about the process. You're gonna learn about the new home that we will build. And we would love it if we could introduce you to the new family that moves in at the end of this story. So follow us at 6029kelloggavenue.com and we'll see you in the next episode.